Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach and today I'm talking about what they think when you walk away. So this video is kind of like in two sections so because um, there's always the how they think at the beginning when you walk away and then also there is how they think after some time has gone by, right? And you've been in no contact for a while and how they feel after a certain amount of time has gone by and how they think after a certain amount of time. So to begin with there, there, there are two things roughly that um, they're going to be thinking when you walk away from them. So one of these things is they'll think that you'll be back, right? Because if you've been uh, begging or pleading or trying to resolve things with them, trying to make the relationship better, um, then they're going to think when you've walked away that, oh yeah, they'll be back because I'm amazing and they're going to try and fight for me because I know that I'm valuable and they may have they may not know that consciously they may just feel that unconsciously basically they may not have a big ego but they, it will hurt their ego basically when you don't um do these things anymore but at the beginning though they will think oh yeah they'll be back they'll they'll, they'll be back they'll be back i know they're going to be sad about this i know they're going to miss me i know they're going to come crawling back eventually because i'm amazing and i deserve to be loved and cherished and adored and I know that this person loves and cherishes and adores me and I know that they're just gonna keep on trying with me. They may have stopped for a few days but I'm gonna see right through that and I know that they'll be back basically. So that's one of the first things that they're probably gonna sense after like maybe like about a week or so of you not talking to them anymore. Okay so another thing that they're gonna think to begin with as well is they think they're going to think that you're never going to change and you're always going to pine after them they're always going to think that you secretly want them um, and they're going to think that you're never going to change they think that you're always going to be the same person um, and pay, perhaps they even think that you're quite pathetic or something like that so they're thinking like oh yeah they're always going to be the same sad pathetic person they're still going to pine over me they're still going to secretly want me uh, you know and things like that so they're, 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 they're going to think that you're still always going to pine after them and that you're not going to change okay so after a while though right um, what's going to happen is after some time has gone by and they're how they feel and thought you was going to behave start, starts to change um, because basically you haven't reached out to them and they thought that after a few days you'd be back they thought that you'd be pining after them they thought that you'd just stay the same but basically after some time has gone by so let's say like maybe a month to a few months um, they're going to start getting confused as to why you stopped trying and it's going to hurt their ego as well. They're going to feel bad or their ego is going to be dropped because you're no longer trying. So that's something else that they're going to be thinking about. They're going to be confused as to why you're no longer chasing after them. They're going to feel un as undesirable. They're going to feel undesirable, basically. They're not going to feel as attractive because when you were once trying with them and you were begging, they felt super attractive. They felt super desired, right? Even if they weren't really consciously aware of it. Right? They may have even found you annoying by the fact that you were begging on pleading to get back with them or you're trying to resolve things. So they may have even you know, thought that it was quite pathetic of you to do that kind of thing. Right? But they still liked it because they got the attention. And there are some people out there that really love getting that romantic attention. Right? And it really gives them validation and gives them an ego boost. Right? So when that stops happening and the person that they expected to always be trying to chase them, basically always trying to be with them, stops doing that they're going to start questioning their attractiveness um, and uh, basically they may start questioning whether or not they did the right thing in dumping you or whatever happened with this person right maybe they just rejected you or perhaps they uh, you dated for a while and they lost interest or something like that but essentially they're going to be confused as to why you stopped trying and they're going to feel bad and their ego is going to be dropped because you have stopped trying okay so what's going to happen now is that once this has happened, they may start getting more curious about you, especially if they do still have some feelings or it may even just be the fact that their ego got hurt and they're trying to fish out to see what happened. Like, oh, I wonder if they found someone new or I wonder if they're still secretly in love with me, but they're just maybe stubborn to, they've got to a point where they're too stubborn now to say anything about it. Right, so they may get curious about you, so they may reach out to you on social media, they may start adding you, they may start going through your stories more on Instagram or Facebook or Snapchat or something like that. So they're going to start getting curious and that's 
basically where their mind's going to get to. They're going to start thinking about you like this after a couple of months has passed. So when you've walked away, they're going to start being very curious about what happened. Why did you stop trying? What what happened, right? And it may even make you look more attractive in their eyes. And perhaps that will maybe reattract them back into your life if obviously you will take them back, right? And hopefully you won't because usually... If someone has lost interest in you or someone has dumped you, it's always best to keep those people out of your life because it's very unlikely that things will actually change even if they do come back into your life, right? So that's something that you've really got to take into careful consideration is that, you know, sometimes, you know, it's best to leave things in the past and it's best to leave people in the past because who's to say that when you get back together, the same thing is not going to happen again. And because people rarely change who they are, that if you do get back together, it's very, very, very likely that the same issues are going to be there. And because the same issues are there, the breakup again happens and it's kind of ine inevitable, really. So you're kind of just wasting your time, essentially, if you get back with an ex, because it's very likely that things are just not going to change and it's just not going not to work out, essentially, okay? So another thing that's going to make them... Um, what's gonna, what's kind of like their head and what they're thinking about when you walk away, especially if you level up in life, right? And you start achieving more of your dreams, you're going for what you want in your life more. You know, they're going to be shocked, right? And this is what they're going to think and feel. They're going to feel shocked and confused as to why you're thriving without them because in a way they were expecting you to crumble. In fact, they were maybe even secretly hoping that you were going to crumble and always pine after them because it fed their ego and fed what they wanted and you know it gave them that validation and that attention, right? So the fact that not only have you moved on with your life, not only have you walked away, right, and stayed consistent with that, but you've actually leveled up and you're now thriving in life, they're gonna start thinking, maybe I'm the problem, right? Maybe um, maybe, maybe I'm not as great as what I thought I was, because they seem to be getting on way better without me, they're thriving in life, and here I am, still hoping that they're gonna have feelings for me, because that's kind of what I wanted, I was kind of hoping that they weren't gonna thrive without me, I was gonna, I was kind of hoping that they were going to always want me, that they're always gonna pine after me, and that they were always gonna be the same person, but they're not, you're not. You've leveled up. You're trying to achieve your dreams. You've become more ambitious. Perhaps you're going to the gym more and you're taking care of yourself. Perhaps you're dating more high quality people and you know, you've got those photos of you, you with new dates on your social media profiles and you look really good. And uh, it's just, yeah, it's just going to really confuse them and maybe even reattract them into your life again if that's what you want. But they're definitely going to be very confused and it's going to hurt their ego if they see that not only have you moved on with your life, but you're thriving and you're living a better life basically, essentially, without them. Because if they, if you had stayed with them and things had been resolved, then perhaps you wouldn't have leveled up. And they're going to know that on some kind of like subconscious level. So it's really going to make them question things if you walk away from them. But another thing that it may do, let's say if they... Um, they don't still have feelings for you. When you walk away from them and you start getting on better with your life, right, and you start leveling up essentially, um, what they may think is they may have more self-respect for you because you stopped pining after them. Um, in this, essentially, you kind of grew up a little bit. You grew from the situation. Um, you learned that, you know, begging and pleading after and trying to resolve things with someone who doesn't want you anymore is not a good idea. And perhaps they can see that and at least they have that respect for you now. They may not ever say it to you, they may never reach out to you. In fact, any of these things, they may they may feel these things, but they may, they may never reach out to you. And they can see that you're thriving and, you know, maybe they'll have respect for you. Perhaps their ego won't be hurt or perhaps it will, but they may have respect for you and like the fact that you've leveled up in life you know they may have a more positive reaction to you walking away as well so that's also something to consider too so um, that's basically what they're going to think how they're going to feel when you walk away if you would like to get in touch with me personally and you'd like coaching with me then please go to www.christineloveridge.com and i shall talk to you again very soon goodbye <laughs>